Uh, now the kitchen. Okay. This is a very old kitchen. I mm -hmm. don't know yeah. what this this whole thing is going on here. Um, I would definitely look at. I mean, to be honest, you can you can easily spruce this up, put new countertops, and mm -hmm. maybe even keep the same thing. Keep the same. Uh, yeah, honestly, my if it was mine, if you end up getting rid of the tenant, completely gut that kitchen and, and get a new kitchen. Okay, that's my opinion. So, okay. um, but mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm not saying you have to go like high end or anything like that. Get cheap brand anything. Mm -hmm. Anything cheap that you can get now is still more affordable, but it's a and it's a small footprint. It's a small area, um, but yeah, this is wallpaper. Mm -hmm. It looks like over over the cabinets. It to me, I mean, I, I yeah. would have said, oh, just refresh the cabinets and 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 get a new countertop. But you added this mm -hmm. wallpaper on the top cabinets, and it's not not very good. So. Yeah. Um, you know, then, mm -hmm. uh, the backside here, it looks like they painted one time, you know, this always happens. You see the brick covering here. Yeah. So it's, it's basically just from rain. That's normal. Okay. okay. And let's, let's see here. Um, uh, those are, those look like it's possibly wood windows. So, mm -hmm. uh, but again, it's not a bad, it's not a bad block it's not a bad area um, okay so let's do that let's do the address here and mm -hmm. so we're pulling this up here uh this is the street view here um it looks like redfin has the estimate going at fifty six thousand in detroit i don't I, but you can use that a little bit but you really got to do your own research on that Okay, so mm -hmm. as we were doing yeah. before, we look in here. This is Evergreen and Lasher, seven and eight mile. So what I'm going to do is go to maps.com, maps, Google, Google Maps, Evergreen. There we go. So I'm going to look in this area, and so basically this is the area that I want to stick to for my comping. Okay, so we mm -hmm. want to. We see where ours is. It's going to be on the corner of Pearson and Pembroke. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to duplicate this tab. Here we go. All right. So I have my filter set at the last three months. Okay. So you can see the issue we have is, is that there's not a lot of, mm -hmm. I was looking at this earlier today. There's not a lot of duplexes that have been sold in this area um so so we see a lot of single families but then go back six months and so if we look here i think it was this one i can't remember little market brick brick hot having two bedroom okay this is three bedroom yeah so looking for this one this is the one i was looking for one for 45. all right so this one here it's a remember remember i said mm -hmm. half of duplexes okay it says rare yes. half, half a duplex located northwest detroit blah 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 um so this property was half of a duplex it had a new central air unit uh windows let's see stone place it, it's very similar to your property okay mm -hmm. where it, it's brick on the bottom and a little bit of a uh, siding up top i saw right. that but i think it's doing this house what what's yeah. that i said i also checked this uh, property in this property most of the yep. things are new they already remodeled exactly. everything they, yeah yeah, so it's uh, new glazed mm -hmm. tubs, new toilet, new vanity, new furnace. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so this is your after repair value, in my opinion, would be 45 each side. Okay. okay. So that brings you to mm -hmm. roughly 90 grand for an after repair value. Mm -hmm. Now, keep okay. in mind, 
this mm -hmm. when did this this sold uh four months ago all right interest mm -hmm. rates have gone up since then okay mm -hmm. so you got to give a slight discount to that and uh so if i do a um say 95 95k mm -hmm. times we'll do point 85 so you're looking at an after repair value because i do a 15 percent discount okay mm -hmm. i i'm my arv okay so your arv i think would be roughly okay. uh a little bit right around 80 to eighty-one thousand. okay oh okay mm -hmm. that would be an after repair value okay so um if you were to buy this keep in mind that okay that's if you were flipping it okay so and yeah after repair an after repair value uh we'll, we'll go the high end and we'll say eighty one thousand. okay we're gonna times that by mm -hmm. 70 percent you're looking at fifty six thousand and seven hundred dollars okay and then mm -hmm. you still got to minus your mm -hmm. um your you still got to minus your repairs now the difference with a buy and hold is now you want to look at your roi your return on investment okay so according to him mm -hmm. you, you know without raising the rents you're at 13 percent okay I don't know how he came with that those numbers, but you said they were what was the rents right now? Four seventy five, and the second is paying six hundred. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four seventy five plus six hundred. Okay. We're in that's yeah. ten seventy five. We're in times that by twelve. You're getting twelve thousand mm -hmm. nine hundred a month or a year. Sorry. Then you're going to subtract, mm -hmm. uh, we'll subtract, we'll call it 1500 for the taxes. Okay. And then we'll call it mm -hmm. another 1200 yep. for the insurance. Okay. okay. So yep. now, yep. So now you're looking at 1020 or 10,200. 10, now we're going to divide that by what you put into mm -hmm. it. So say you do 60,000 I I'm just using 60,000 as the round numbers say that you're going to put about five mm -hmm. we'll go 10,000 okay so say you're going to put 10,000 into it okay all right I uh, we're going to divide that by I'm going to say 73,000 because you're going to count on $3,000 of closing costs okay Okay. And you're mm -hmm. and you're looking at you're you're looking at thirteen point nine percent of ROI, which is mm -hmm. okay. Now, if you were to get those under contract and say you're paying that price and you get the tenants out and you're paying and you get them to pay uh, eight hundred a month, okay? Okay. Just to be mm -hmm. conservative, all right? Eight hundred mm -hmm. times two. All right, that's 1600 times 12. All right, that's 19,200. Now we're going to minus the, mm -hmm. we said 1500 for taxes. Okay. And then we're going to minus, uh, sorry, hold on, minus 1200. All right, now you're at 16,500. Okay. And then we're going to divide it by mm -hmm. that yeah. same 73,000. Okay. <coughs> And if you were to raise the rents, then you'd be at 22.6%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in my opinion, mm -hmm. it, it's an okay deal. Okay. You have to really see what your construction costs will be and look at their lease. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, to see how long, whether they're willing, because if, if they're willing 
just to get the bump to bump up the the rent to eight hundred dollars a month, then great. The one paying six hundred may. They may be able to do it, but it depends on their situation. All right, the one for four seventy five, I highly doubt it. Okay, if you want to work something out with them. You say, "Hey, we can do in increments, and then by the end of the year, you're at the higher end of rent, so it doesn't hit all at once." But keep in mind, I would still give them an out. I say, "Ever at any point in any month, you just give me a 30-day notice, and and you're good to go if you want to move out." Okay. How about if we give the notice to the tenant, and they still if don't you give the, leave the house? Then? then you have then you have to go through the eviction process. Okay. And how is the and eviction process? Is you have to you have to go through the courts. Easy. Okay. Not really. Okay. It's not always easy. Um, for I would definitely recommend talking to somebody who's been through it in quite a bit. I haven't, but I know people who have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go okay. into it mm -hmm. knowing what strategy you want to do. Or at least have it have multiple no. strategies, okay? So if you mm -hmm. keep the tenants and make sure everything works properly, and save your money for capital expenditures, things like that. Now, one thing that I did not put in there is you want to put aside a ten percent for of the rents. For management fees, and you want to put uh, aside uh, roughly a ten percent for capital expenditures. The capital expenditures would be like if a furnace went out, okay? If a, if a roof is bad, mm -hmm. things like that. So look at you got to look at the roof on this. Those are big ticket items. You got to look at the furnace, mm -hmm. and you got to see mm -hmm. like it looked like the porch had some concrete, but to be honest, that's That's not the worst of your problems on that. So really look at everything with a fine tooth comb, and I think it could be a good deal if you get it for a little bit cheaper. And it depends on the the type of um, it depends on the the type of renters that, that are there. How long are the leases? Are they month to month? Are they willing to Negotiate. Do they have a place to go? You know things like that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that a answer any yeah. questions that you have? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm only worried about now this eviction thing. That if the they don't live, <laughs> then what? <laughs> Everybody is, but I'm gonna tell you <laughs> that you you build if you go through an mm -hmm. eviction. You have to build in at least six months of not getting rent. Six months to, I would say, to a year. If it happens sooner, great, no problem. Okay. Um, it was a lot worse during COVID. Okay, you couldn't get rid of anybody during COVID. All right. Now they've gotten better. You can at least get dates. You just, mm -hmm. it's not as fast. That's all. Is so, it possible that when you buy them that evicted before tenant should be gone before I buy this house? Can uh, I do that? If it is on one to one, you can ask. You can ask, but not really. Yeah. So usually, what happens is, is um, if they get rid of the tenant. A, a a property becomes more valuable when it's vacant. Okay, it's actually less valuable when you have a tenant in there that you personally haven't vetted. Okay, hmm. so so yeah. that's where I would be asking hmm. for the discount a little bit. But um, you know, mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen this guy post deals before. Uh, his number doesn't mm -hmm. seem off for the area. It's very close to eight mile. Um, the area is it's okay, um, but I, I think it still needs to be a little bit cheaper the, because of the lower rents. You know, 
if this was two vacant properties, I would see this going, going for 55 to 60 grand all day long. If they were two vacant, if they were vacant. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, that's the gist of that one. Um, you know, do you have any more, mm -hmm. any more questions about it? No, I will give the chance to the other people to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, guys. Well, you have a great one. Okay. We'll, thank we'll you so much. Keep answering. No problem. You have a great day. Bye.